Leo, Kao, or Enda Leo, is a Malayo-Polynesian dialect cluster spoken on Flores in Indonesia. Phonology consonants Kao has 23 consonant phonemes. Kao has a four-way distinction between stops, voiceless, voiced, preglottalized, and prenasalized. For some, N, and, P, alternate freely. However, majority of Kao speakers use, P, H, is sometimes heard at the beginning of vowel initial words. Vowels Kao has six vowel phonemes. Phonotactics simple words There is no distinction between a grammatical and phonological word e.g. E, think. Compound words Compounds consist of two simple words e.g. gdgo to spin, stress and intonation Stress in ko is often predictable, it usually falls on the ultimate syllable. Intonation could depends on the force of speech and a speaker's emotional state. Grammar pronouns and person marking personal pronouns replace proper nouns or other nouns, and form a closed word class. They are highly dependent on context, and are used to indicate if one is referring to the speaker, listener, etc. Baird, 2002, pp. 108. There are five subclasses of nouns, one, common nouns, two, kin terms, three, place names, four, personal names and five, personal pronouns. Baird, 2002, pp. 101-102. Thus, unlike English, where pronouns are an independent part of the language, personal pronouns are included under the noun class in Ko. Baird, 2002, pp. 97. Furthermore, all five of these subclasses, including personal pronouns, may be used as nominal predicates. Baird, 2002, pp. 101. Personal pronouns standard forms in Ko. There is no change in the personal pronoun, even if they are independent pronouns, subjects, objects, possessors, etc. Baird, 2002, pp. 108. However, first, second, third, and singular and plural forms have differences, and the first person plural pronoun has an inclusive and exclusive form. Apart from the first and second person singular pronoun, pronouns may be followed by numbers to quantify the pronoun. Gender is also not differentiated in Ko pronouns. Baird, 2002, pp. 109. Overview of standard personal pronouns. Baird, 2002, pp. 110. First person pronouns. The standard forms of first person singular pronouns are nao, which is first singular, kita, first person plural inclusive, and kami, first person plural exclusive. This can be used to express I, me, my, etc. Baird, 2002, pp. 110. For example, Baird, 2002, pp. 110, Baird, 2002, pp. 110, second person pronouns The standard forms of second person singular pronouns are kau, which is second person singular and mu, second person plural. This can be used to express you, your, etc., Baird, 2002, pp. 110. For example, Baird, 2002, pp. 119. Third person pronouns The standard forms of third person singular pronouns are imu, which is third person singular and imu koo, third person plural. This can be used as he, her, etc. Baird, 2002, pp. 110. For example, Baird, 2002, pp. 116. Baird, 2002, pp. 119. A sentence can also be made to be less ambiguous by using imu possessively, Baird, 2002, pp. 328. In other words, using a pronoun in this way can make the meaning of a sentence clearer to the listener. 1. Nambu Wado Australia Peter Onga Dhoa Kumi Wendo Home Australia Peter Shave Loose Beard When Peter went home to Australia he shaved off a beard. 2. Nambu Wado Australia Peter Onga Dhoa Kumi Imu. When Go Home Australia Peter Shave Lose Beard 3 SG. When Peter returned home to Australia he shaved off his beard. As seen in the examples, Baird, 2002, pp. 328, above 2, clarifies the meaning of 1, with the addition of Imu, as it shows the beard is Peter's beard. Below is an example of both a first singular pronoun and a third singular pronoun being used in the same sentence. Baird, 2002, pp. 110. Alternate forms 
There are also alternate forms of personal pronouns, which are used for different reasons. There are three main reasons as to why alternate pronouns are used. Firstly, alternate pronouns may be used to indicate politeness, or to avoid social taboo. Secondly, they may be used based on dialect variations. Lastly, certain pronouns are used to identify the exact number of people there are in the situation being described or talked about Baird, 2002, pp. 111. Baird, 2002, highlighted four alternate forms of personal pronouns used in Ko, Ya. O, Mu, Kita, and Sira, Baird, 2002, pp. 111-114, the first alternate form, Ya. O, is an alternate form of the first person singular pronoun, Nao, standard form. Initially, each dialect group used either one exclusively, and was a way to identify which Ko speaking area one was from. However, the use of the standard and alternate form of the pronoun no longer has this ability to establish one's dialect group Baird, 2002, pp. 111. This will be further discussed below in regional varieties. The second alternate form is mu. It is often used in reference to more than one person, but can also be used to address one person as an honorific Baird, 2002, pp. 112. For example, Baird, 2002, pp. 112. The third alternate form is Kita Baird, 2002, pp. 113. As mentioned above, first person plural pronouns have an exclusive and inclusive form in Ko, Baird, 2002, pp. 110. However, the alternate and inclusive form, Kita, frequently replaces Kami, the exclusive form. Using the inclusive form kita instead of the exclusive form kami helps the speaker to seem more generous and selfless, as they are including the listener in their speech. Especially when discussing property and personal possessions, the speaker can sound less arrogant by using the inclusive term instead of the exclusive term. Baird, 2002, pp. 113. For example, Baird, 2002, pp. 113. Another example which shows the importance of inclusivity in Ko is where Ko is often referred to as our language Sarah Kita, instead of just Ko, Baird, 2002, pp. 9. The last alternate form of personal pronouns highlighted by Baird 2002, is Sira. This pronoun may be used instead of second and third person pronouns. The main reason Sira is used would be as an honorific. It is often used to greet people, and to refer to in-laws or others as a sign of respect. Thus, one would use Sira instead of I am you Koo, Baird, 2002, pp. 114. Kin terms, which is what identifies the relationship between speakers, Baird, 2002, pp. 105, are also preferred when addressing in laws, to establish a close relationship. Thus, Sira would be used more often than more polite pronouns such as Mu, Baird, 2002, pp. 113 114. Regional varieties pronouns help to differentiate dialects. In the past, the difference in the first person singular pronoun Jao and Nao helped to establish this difference. However, in present times intermarriages between different dialect groups have dissolved these boundaries. Instead, which first person singular pronoun is used is up to personal preference Baird, 2002, pp. 28. Apart from personal preference, many Ko speakers have the tendency to follow the form that their mother uses, Baird, 2002, pp. 111, while some adopt the form that their in-laws use after marriage, Baird, 2002, pp. 112. Possession Adnominal possession There are two types. One possessive particle is used to link noun phrases, e.g. aa ko, o kami, water pos first, plural exclusive, are water. Two possessor can either be oun phrase or pronoun, e.g. bapa kami father first, plural exclusive, our father. Negation Two negators in ko One, mona Two, get a. These negators are synonymous. Negators can one precede the predicate, two be predicates themselves. 
3. B Interjections References <laughs>